of my previous videos, I was talking about binomial probability experiments, but now I want to focus on geometric probability experiments. And uh, they're very similar. If you remember with binomial experiments, there was a fixed number of trials. The probability of a success is always the same for each trial, and there's always a, a success or a failure. There's two outcomes. What's well, similar for geometric probabilities, um, just a little bit different. Um, instead of there being a fixed number of trials, with geometric, you have a situation where you repeat the trials until a success occurs. So if you're ever faced with a problem where it says, um, <clears throat> You know, the, the probability of uh, making a free throw is 30%. Uh, how many free throws, or what is the probability that Johnny makes his first free throw on his fifth attempt? Okay, that's his first success. That's what we're looking for. The trials are repeated until the first success or until a success occurs. Now, the second thing that is true about geometric probability is this. The individual trials are independent of each other. There's no dependency there. And the last condition that needs to be met is this. The probability of a success is the same for each trial. And that's the same thing as it was for binomial. So we've got a new formula for geometric probabilities. And that new formula looks like this. And just to explain this formula just a little bit, it should make sense. P is the probability of a success, and Q is the probability of a failure. So if I am asking what's the probability that my first success is on my fifth attempt, then I take that means that I'm going to have one success. That would be the probability of a success, P. And then I'm going to have Q to the 5 minus 1 power, which is the same as P times Q to the 4th power. Now, right now, I don't know what P and Q are, but this is the probability of a success and the probability of a failure. So if I want to know what is the probability that my first success is on my fifth attempt, that means I'm going to have one success and four failures. So there's my one success and four failures. Now the four failures happen to come first and then the fifth one is my success, but that's how this formula works. So let's go ahead and check out an, ex an example. So we've got a candy bar manufacturer finds that one in every 60 candy bars produced is defective. Find the probability that A, the first defective candy bar is the 10th one produced. So let's go ahead and find, this is, this is geometric because I'm looking for what is the probability that the first defective candy bar is the tenth one. So I want to know what is the probability that the first defective one is the tenth. Well, I also, so this is how I'm going to set that up, but I need to know what is the probability of a success and what is the probability of a failure. Well, a success in this case is finding a defective candy bar. So I have to um, just take 1 out of 60. Now that means the probability of a failure, finding a candy bar that is not defective, is 59 out of 60. Now I could change these into decimals if I wanted to, but I'm just going to wait to the end and see what decimal comes up. So as I set this, this formula up, or this, this uh, equation up, it's going to be the probability of a success, which is 1 out of 60, times the probability of a failure, which is 59 out of 60, raised to the 10 minus 1 power, or the 9th power, because I've got 9 failures, and then my 1 success. So let me go ahead and jump to my calculator and type all this in. So here's my calculator, and it'll look like this. 1 out of 60 times 59 out of 60 raised to the ninth power. I hit enter and let the calculator do the math for you. So there it is, 0.014. So as I bring my calculator screen in here, it looks like that. Now this is a word problem, so I'm going to go ahead and type my answer in as a complete sentence. And in this case, it would say, um, Let's see, the probability that the first defective candy bar 
is the tenth one would be point zero one four three or one point four three percent and that's that's pretty acceptable right there okay now let me try a different one here what is the probability that the first effective candy bar is the second or the third one produced well in this case since I'm looking at the second or the third this little word or in probability tells us to add so I'm gonna find the probability that the first effective candy bar is the second one and I'm gonna add that to the probability that the first effective candy bar is the third one I'm going to give myself a little bit more room, and I'll set this up. Here we go. The probability that the second candy bar is the first one that is defective would be 1 out of 60 times 59 out of 60 raised to the, in this case, 2 minus 1, or to the first power. And then I also want to find the probability that the first defective is the third one. So 1 out of 60, the probability of a success times the probability of a failure raised to the 3 minus 1. Let me jump to my calculator and work this out. Now the nice thing about the calculator is I can just go back if I hit second and entry it takes me back to the exact same thing that I just typed in and I'm going to change this so that it says 1 because that was the probability that the first candy bar is the first effective one is the second one so there's that and then I'm going to hit second enter again and change this to a two so I've got one, I've got two failures and then one success and when I hit enter I get that now let me pull this over to my screen and there's my two probabilities point zero one six and point zero one six again the probabilities aren't that much different so let me go ahead and add these together I'll come back up here this is going to be point zero one six three uh, let's round off to four decimal places let's make this an eight point one six uh, four plus point zero one six one now when I add those together, I get what? 4 plus 1 is 5, 6 plus 6 is 12, carry the 1, that's 2, 3, so I end up getting 0 0.0325. All right, let me type this in. Complete sentence answer, since it's a word problem. The probability that the first defective candy bar is the second or third one chosen will be about I'll change it into a percent 3.25 percent and there it is there's some ex explanation about geometric probabilities and a couple of examples to go with it